I mean, the thing about working with John was he was just, you know, obviously he was, he's very opinionated um, and he is a, he's a study of trends and uh, aesthetic and clothes and, um, you know, he pays attention to pop culture. So he, he always had opinions and knew what he wanted. And we were very, you know, I just, I think like all of us, right? Like you, like me, Brian, John, we all just, and Corey, we all like gravitated towards the same thing. So it was just right. like, you're working on something. You're like, oh, I have an idea for how we might do this like distress thing with like crumpled up paper. And he'd be like, fuck yeah. And then we'll add in like this thing and that thing. You're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, you're, you're not trying to talk anybody into anything. You just like, you're clicking in like your tests and the things you're interested in and what mm -hmm. you're, and he bring he bring, you know, it's, it, it's really looking back like I mean, he's just, just a phenomenal creative direct. And the thing about John that he could just see trends come in, like, with he had a like a superpower for it. He could see like what would be trendy, like way beyond it would even be showing any signs of being trendy. He had these like feelings about things, and I think um he'd bring things to the table that i was like oh shit that's like really forward thinking and then i think i had you know a craft and a way of like i was interested in just like how could we make something look like you know it was all torn up and how would we do that or how could we make something look like this and you know that brought that to the table so it was just a good partnership well john was very skilled at bringing together people for common goal you know, yeah, he had the vision, sure. he had the vision and he knew who he wanted to use to make it happen. Um, and he's always really good at that, you know, and he was a good artist in his own, you know, I don't know if you ever saw any of his illustrations and stuff, but, yeah, you know, did. he was, uh, he could have done some work with that as well. Did John ever talk about the ground control logo, like sickle? Well, I just remember, you know, like one of the things that was, uh, really, interesting about working with john was like how in the symbolism he was he was always kind of looking at the meanings of things and the men kind of one of the main motifs for ground control that he wanted to use was a sickle which was part of the you know it's part of different flags it's part of the austrian flag but it's also part of like russian you know, USSR um, flags that I think, you know, a lot of people would in the West would always look at as being like, you know, like an evil thing or a dangerous thing. But like, he, he, I remember him just talking about how it just stands for hard work, you know? I like remember that Austrian, too. Yeah. And the Austrian flag, there is the eagle and the sickle. And, you know, the sickle is what people use to work the fields. And like, he was really proud of that. And he didn't, it, I just, it was really interesting at the time you're we like oh this thing that like it's yeah it's like part of the ussr is the sickle but actually to a lot of people it just means like hard work and that's the symbolism of it and